Hey you guys, what is up to remember here? Welcome to Updates and Thoughts. What a stupid name. <laughs> okay guys, uh, listen up. As you might have noticed, um, I did not uh, stream for a long, long time. And this is fine. So I had my uh, holy days, I call it that. It's basically just vacation. Uh, and that was um, roughly two weeks. So I know on the internet it feels like seven and a half years, but it's actually just two weeks. Um, I will not stream until uh, the first or let's say early February. Um, reason is, um, there is a chance that has been opened up and I am willing to take that chance. Um, and that means basically for you there will be uh, more stream content um, and there will be more YouTube content. So this is the important part for you. But um, on the other hand, that means I have to yeah I have to prepare a lot. I have to uh, do a lot. I have to make a plan. Actually, um, it's not just you know you record something and then it's fine. <laughs> this is not how this works, guys. It's a lot of work, and uh, the more actually uh, content is produced the more you need to have a plan so this is what I'm working on the next 14 days um, that might sound like a lot but it is actually not um, I would love to say I do it way longer but yeah let's just keep it at that the 14 days were pretty wonderful I just can tell you that um, Anyway, here we are guys, um, down in the description um, there is a straw poll uh, which is um, asking you to vote for um, a Thrones of Britannia mod. Uh, the one is uh, Athrid of Bebanberg, uh, it's basically the Last Kingdom mod 2.0. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure if it's really intent to play on Legendary, 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 but we will see about that. Um, and the other one is Dalriata, and that is a fucking hard uh, faction. I, I've played it now, I don't know, eight times the start, and I have failed every time, uh, except for one time and that one time I get uh, overwhelmed a little bit later so it's really wow I do not know how to actually succeed in the Dal uh, Riata campaign at the moment um, anyway I, I would I would just try and check it out furthermore there has to be a way we had our Mears um, we had our Mears experience where we had to play also five times uh, on stream and and then actually it may click and we could uh, we could go through anyway I do think this is the case in Dal Riata but even though it's different uh, anyway uh, check it out it's a it's a real nice mod um, it does uh, every turn is a month uh, that changes a lot, um, especially in terms of seasons. Uh, winter lasts longer and stuff like that. Um, it's a mixture of you're basically Mears and you got the cultural factors from the Gallic kingdoms, but the faction uh, features of Mears. So it's kind of it's interesting. Uh, I, I really like it. Uh, and also it's a big challenge as well so yeah this being said go down do your click um, yeah and um, furthermore I was looking at Attila I kind of miss Attila a little bit not much because I really like Thrones of Britannia and I do not give a fuck what the world says um, so this being said um, so medieval kingdom mod is not ready yet and uh, there is no campaign but yeah so this will come and i will cover it this is for sure but yeah when it's there it's there um i had a um a decent playthrough with um ancient empire mod not a fan guys simple as that i have played with the kimberies and um the ai is basically except for a couple of factions building no units uh, you can imagine that changes a lot. The economical system is wow. Um, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of numbers. Um, for well, it's actually in the end, it's pretty simple. But 
you know, they, you, you get the info on every building just like always. And then you have, I don't know, maintenance minus 900. And then you see what the actual building makes, uh, let's say uh, 1,250. So you, you look at it and you don't get immediate information. No, you gotta do a little math. And if you do that on every building, that's just, that's a lot of, um, a lot of unnecessary uh, brain power used actually. So this being said, I'm not a big fan, but maybe it's more or less fine. Um, it is fine for a while, but I could imagine I take up the Kimbri campaign because as I said, for example, um, uh, Rome, for example, of course, builds units and a couple of factions building units, but most of them are just, just the city with a garrison in it. Every city uh, as well has a garrison and is walled. Um, okay, that makes, you know, and uh, there's, a, uh, there's a couple of things. I, I, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I've played now, I don't know, 10 hours of this mod and I haven't fought a single fight. Um, just because you mostly end up uh, besieging and then you auto it out at a certain point when the attrition uh, has done their job. It's weird a little bit. Um, yeah, anyway, so so much to ancient empires. Um, really, yeah, we will see. Maybe it, it's getting good. At the moment, it's not my cup of tea. And I really, really um, would like to be at my cup of tea. But yeah, I cannot change how I feel. Um, so, but this is also taste, guys. Calm down. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the Medieval Kingdom mod 1212 AD though. Um, so just a little bit of this. Uh, we're gonna cover um, as soon as on stream or on YouTube. Um, big uh, big thanks to Xintex, he uh, gifted me a game. Uh, we'll cover that. I have at the moment access to um, to a game called uh, Rising Lords, but it's uh, closed alpha, so this will take a while. Uh, it's still pretty promising though. Um, it kind of seems to, um, you know, when we play uh, Battle Brothers, um, we we kind of often, I, I get I get asked uh, often on stream, uh, can we conquer stuff in Battle Brothers? And uh, we cannot in Battle Brothers, but Rising Lords is kind of the same, um, but, um, different. <laughs> uh, I know how that sounds, and I cannot really uh, uh, talk about it. It's it's a it seems very promising. It's closed alpha, so it's I don't know, uh, build 0.02 or something like this. So it's very early alpha, but the battlefield itself looks very promising. Um, that uh, being said, and I'm, I'm actually uh, gonna give feedback uh, on that as well to the developers and they seem to be nice guys. If you, they will uh, follow them on, uh, follow them on Twitter or something like this. I do think they will do um, uh, in the future a new, uh, new closed, I don't know, alphas or second alpha or a beta or something like this. And it will be closed, but they are pretty, pretty open in uh, who comes in and who um, who not and the thing is you just have to be on time this is the only thing um, and there is no further restriction whatsoever and if you are willing to give feedback they are even more willing to let you in so this is uh, quite nice actually so this is what I'm doing at the moment um, there will be an interview with another uh, developer um, this I, I said this might be in December, but well, it's not just on my terms. Um, there are other factors uh, involved as well. And yeah, so um, so th you see, there is a lot to come actually. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is how it works. Um, my holidays are over, a uh, couple of days already, but um, just so you know, uh, I do not stream until the uh, begin of uh, February. Um, I do work for you while I uh, seem to do nothing. Uh, this is not the case. Um, yeah, and there will be good things to come. Uh, this is gonna be uh, a very good year or uh, yeah, 
let's not talk about it. <laughs> yeah, guys, um, is this all I wanted to say? I do think so, yes. Guys, wherever you want, do have a nice one. We see us fresh uh, with new ideas, a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of projects coming up, a lot of videos coming up, um, and decent and interesting uh, videos, not just Let's Plays. Um, yeah. Um, till then, I say, uh, wish me luck as I wish you a nice one and that wherever you are. Goodbye.